importance of education, um, I mean, we have no excuse. You know, it's not, as I always say, it's not the white man, the brown man, it's you, man. <laughs> so we have the opportunity, the power, most definitely uh, technology is more advanced, education is more advanced, and as Mr. Stewart says, if you want it bad enough, you can do it. jump rope to make you work baby <laughs> I like to think of life uh, as a jump rope <laughs> because every time you clear one here comes another yeah, I mean every time you clear one hurdle here comes another every time you clear one obstacle here come another every time you you know uh, have one achievement here comes the next achievement or at least you want to hope to you want to set yourself up for the next you know uh, achievement uh, in life but um or the next phase of your life and it's the thing about the jump rope, man, it's his phases. You know, you start off slow, then you pick the pace up, you know, because it's like life. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So, you know, you start off, you know, quick, you're gonna burn yourself out. And so you gotta start off slow, progressively, but each time you clear the rope, you're getting better and better. So as you progress in life, you grow. And as you're growing in life, you're getting wiser. And as you get wiser in life, you make better de de decision, you know, and that's what we all would like to do is make better decision. Yeah. That's what it, you know, uh, that's what life's about. It's making the best decision. So what I'm drinking is not Kool-Aid. Uh, anybody know about Crystal Light? Uh, this is, you know, how I hydrate myself in crystal light. Love to drink water and everything. So we just hanging out today. And uh, we're going to move around a little bit. Do some pull-ups, some crunches, and stuff like that. Cause see, here's the thing, guys. You gotta think. You gotta think long run. Short run is what? Oh man, man. I gotta, I, I gotta hang with them, dude. They cool, man. I gotta run with them. That's that's short run. You guys in what grade? Eight. eight. So what grade you guys going to next year? Nine. Nine. What grade you going to after that? Ten. Ten. Then what? Eleven. Then what? Twelve. Then college. college. Exactly. Then job. So exactly. You don't stay here. But if you're not, if you don't prepare here for when you get to there, when you get there, you won't be ready. Most people 
can't obtain success because why? They're not prepared. The one thing I got into uh, inspiration speaking is, uh, is I think, and you know, I'm, and this is just me, and maybe I'm a little biased, but uh, I'm not really big on the word motivation speaking because I think the word motivate, you know, it's like a hype man. You know, motivation gets you pumped up, and then you know when you leave, you know, the air goes out of you. Uh, and I see myself uh, as an inspiration speaker, you know, and. Um, because I want to live to inspire people to change their mind, especially, you know, men, young men, you know, whether it's African-American men, Hispanic, uh, Caucasian, Asian, whatever it is. I mean, the only way this society can change, it starts from the man. And if you can speak a word into a young man's life and get him to change his thinking early on, you will plant a seed that will blossom. At the end of the day, you have the choice and the opportunity to write your own ending. Nobody can change where they were born. You can't change that. You have no control of that. The only thing you can change is how your story ends, how your story is going to be told. Who are you going to make better with your story? Whose life is going to change because of your story? Because if I would have took my life, I could not be sitting here today helping change you guys. Constantly, I thought about dying every day. Every day, and I'm not talking about somebody that, I'm an all-American football player. I got three championship rings. My face is all over the posters at the school. But on the inside, I was dealing with so many demons and so much hurt and pain because the lack, all I wanted was to have my dad to be at my game. Him to say good job. Him to say I'm proud of you. Him to do what I am doing to you guys. Just talk to me. You know, so many people will be touched by the seeds that I plant in these young men's lives uh, because there's so many obstacles, uh, so many challenges. So, you know, so many times we face with just different dilemmas, you know, and you know, my parents divorced when I was 13, and I'm telling you, that thing, it, it almost destroyed me, you know, to where, you know, I got involved in gangs, and because you want acceptance, you know, I got involved in, you know, um, just other things that, you know, my parents didn't raise me, but you're, you're trying to act out, you have so much anger, you know, so much resentment towards your parents, and I had a lot of resentment toward my dad, and it took years for me to let it go and forgive him, but I had to. Because you can't live with unforgiveness. I mean, that stuff will kill you. And, uh, you know, and, and that's what really inspires me that if somebody can speak a word into these young men's life, it'll change their lives. Because that word will change the way they think. Because that word will expose their mind to things other than what they just see every day. And that is really what inspires me to inspire these other men because somebody spoke a word into me. And, you know, God just picked me up, um, uh, a pastor out of Dallas. And, you know, he really wasn't in my life that long, but, you know, at the time when I, when I, when I really needed somebody, he came and just spoke a word. And it pushed me, you know, through college because I wanted to quit college. My mom had lost a job. She lost her home. We was in a hotel, uh, living in a lady's living room. And so I wanted to quit and go home. You know, he spoke a word that says, how are you gonna change your life if you quit and go back to that situation? That situation will change eventually. It may not change, you know, instantaneously at the moment, but it's gonna change eventually. But if you go back home, now you affect your life forever. So that's what really inspires me because if somebody can hear a word, these young men can hear a word, they'll change their life. It'll change the, you know, the people they hang around. It'll change the music they listen to. It'll change the words that they speak. Because a lot of time, what these kids are being, uh, what inspires them is what they speak. And eventually your words will either corrupt you or will build you up. One time, never done drugs. One time, just want to celebrate getting drafted. Guys, you gotta be so selfish with your vision to where anything that looks like that it's not where you want to go in life, you got to be like, hey man, you got to move on. I can stand here and say as, a, as an example, I came out with tons of athletes in the draft. I didn't get drafted. 
Was my feelings hurt? Yes, because why? I put in tons of hard work, years of that. But at the same time, I was able to stay focused because I knew with or without football, I was going to be okay. Hey, this is life right here. <laughs> Sometimes you got to pull your own weight. Sometimes putting your own weight, man, you got to be accountable for putting your own weight. You got to be responsible for putting your own weight. There ain't nobody up here holding me up but me. So if I let go, it's because I fail to keep holding on. So you got to keep holding on. I can't let go. Can't let go. It's just like life, man. Sometimes you gotta balance. You gotta balance. You gotta learn how to balance. We all struggle with this as humans. We all have a problem balance. But you gotta balance. You gotta balance the ups and downs. And you gotta balance it where sometimes you may fall off. That's part of life. You may fall off. Somebody may knock you down. And somebody may tell you that you can't do it. Somebody may tell you that you ain't good enough. But here's what you gotta do. You fall, do it. One step at a time, one leg at a time, and you gotta hop right back on. You gotta hop right back on, and then you gotta find that balance again. Find that balance again, and you go back to work. You go back to your school. You go back to the job. You go back to the playing field. You go back to life. Because when you can learn how to balance, you can learn how to get back in there. Because sometimes you're gonna fall off, but you get back on. Yeah, it's me again. Back before you, at your mercy, you're bending me again. No.